problem, Dennis. When you're the fastest draw on the circuit, the king of the whole shot, the other guys come gunning for you. But when your name is Blair Morgan, the confrontation only fuels your desire to win. Currently at the top of the Pro Stock standings, Blair sports an impressive 256 points. His fans even bear their flag paying tribute to the Snowcross Master. Blair Morgan's heel-clicking magic continues today as the WSA Snowcross Tour takes us north of the border to the city of Valcour in Quebec. Pro snowmobile racing, French Canadian style, the Grand Prix de Valcour here at the home of ski snowmobile racing and an area of Quebec that they love their snowmobiles. But folks, this track is what snowcross is all about. And it starts right after... Well, we're ready for the Pro Open final. So we're ready. Pro Open is on the line. All eyes go to the starter now as all of the sleds are in position. The course is clear. Here we go! Boy, TJ got a great hole shot down to the inside. However, he's got company on the outside. You saw that look over the shoulder. That ought to tell you, that's Morgan. And uh, Morgan manages to get to the lead. Never a good sign for anybody else in this, uh, in this type of race. And Morgan, when he gets to the front, that's crucial. And look at the snow dust hanging in the air ball. It is unbelievable with the cold temperatures. That dust gets up there, and it just sits close. Blair Morgan gets clear early. T.J. Gula falls into second place, and the battle begins back second, third, and fourth. Here is the battle. And boy, it's a good one. Greg Hyde makes a move, tries to come to the inside, picks up the spot. And there is T.J. Oh, the oh! Oh, T.J. Gula! So simply yet so quickly off the slide. The rest of the field comes by, then they get bottled up, and T.J. tries to come back up to speed. That is Tony Heikinen, and he has reeled in Blair Morgan. Heikinen has been, been driving some unbelievably fast lines. And look at the separation, first and second, as from third place Alara as we reach the halfway point here at Valcour in Pro Open. Gives it back to Blair Morgan. What a surprise. He had this thing all but paid for. And then on the final lap, he has a quick off. Blair Morgan takes the win. And Look at that. Serge on that ball. Unreal story. Comes home second, and Ekstrom comes up to third. Huge changes in the last couple laps. So Tony Heikinen has it snatched away at just the last second on the final lap. So it's Morgan, Odette, and Ekstrom. One, two, and three. This time of year, a lot of times teams have shopping lists because they're running a little low on equipment. Some of the parts have been brutalized. Well, guess what? The riders get brutalized too. They have their own shopping list. I got my hand landed on. I pumped my head so many times I can't remember how many injuries I had. Had a major concussion this year. Shopping list of injuries. Actually, it's been pretty good this year. I got lots of bumps and bruises, like shins, knees, and arms. And Backs, an occasional head if somebody lands on you. Well, we're snow crossers. Everything's hurt from head to toe, isn't it? I have absolutely no injuries. I'm 100%. Just a couple bruises here and there on like the inside of the legs. I'm injured thumb from a previous break. When I crash, I get bruises on on my behind or <laughs> sore throat. No. My shopping list of injuries. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, I have cough. Last weekend, uh, I got landed on again, uh, right, on, right in my back. <laughs> Chest pain? None. I got a little bit of a sore elbow. 
Maybe some battered internals. No, no coal. I've been doing good, actually. Somebody stabbed it or something. Chest and shoulders always been sore this year. Just a couple bruises here and there on like the inside of the legs. Left hand, very badly bruised, swollen. I'm a little bit hungry, though. They crash lots, but never get hurt. And now I probably will today after saying that. <laughs> Stock final on the line. Final signals being given to the driver. Everybody's ready. The front row, the four in the second row, in from the LCQ. Start. Excellent start by number 28, Justin Tate. He went to the outside, rode the rim shot, Paul, and just Blew out into the lead. Behind him is 96 Shabinsky, and we've got a parking lot. We've got a major parking lot here, and in the middle of all that was Blair Morgan, who did not have his usual high roll and start. He did not get away first, and that changed the whole complexion of the racing. Pro Open and Pro Stock. Ekstrom has been riding in second place in the point behind Blair Morgan, but now Morgan is well down in this field. He just got a glimpse of him there. He did not get the start he wanted, so he's not looking nearly as good. Vincent just wedged himself, leading into the skidoo S is underneath Tate that time and took the lane away. That's going to make that pass stick. So Vincent now up into the top three. Vincent is third behind Zabinski and Extra. And being chased by Tate, you get... Get another view of Blair Morgan there. Two laps to go. There is Vincent. There's Tate. And then Morgan. That's a, oh! Right there, Morgan is off! Morgan dumps the sled. One of the best stories we've seen all this year as the checkered flag now comes out for Carl Javinsky on a borrowed sled with borrowed equipment after having everything that he owned in his racing career stolen on the way up here to Valcor, Canada. Nevertheless, he comes home as the victor. What a great run for Carl Shabitsky, followed to the flag by Dennis Ekstrom and Chris Vincent. Here's the update at Pro Stock Points after this run at Valcor with Blair Morgan still with a little bit of a lead over Dennis Ekstrom. And we're going to take a look at the Pro Open points as well. Same story, Morgan over Ekstrom. And in each case, by about 20 points. Sounds like a lot, but remember, there's 55 points available in the qualifying and finals.